Hey there everyone, this is Jack Apple in Super Demo World! I feel like it's only a matter of time until someone gives me a version of this game that's identical, except that Mario's replaced by Demo. But no, you can't open up this game. There's like some magic done to it, and no one knows what's inside. A desert pyramid! That's what's inside. Well, yeah, it's one of the many levels of this game. I believe this was a stopping point for some people, so it might be like a puzzle level. I don't know, this pyramid is quite large. Uh, make sure to explore everywhere, you never know where a hidden path may be found. So a puzzle level of some kind, huh? Like some kind of ghost house? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. You can go in this pipe if you want. You can go back up too, and Mario throws a peace sign. It's like, yeah, peace out. Pyramid Pumble. Okay, you gotta go here, make a bridge. That's why a blue pipe is there. It's so you can go across the land, and then you end up somewhere. It's, I don't know, like, the castle music, I feel, might be a bit melodramatic for this play. See, now I just can't help but wonder if there's gonna be, like, sometimes you need to leave something behind before you can go forward. I haven't seen my keys. Oh. I was thinking Smebex, and that would bring me to a hidden place. Whoops! <laughs> So, there's a theme of some- of leaving something behind or something. Well, we'll still go through every path. Maybe you want to go up there, like there there's blocks to serve as obstruction. If you're trying to fly, is my reading of it. There's a pipe there you can go into, and here it's broken to pieces for you. Yeah, see there's a pipe there. But you'll need, like, some kind of springboard attachment or something to be able to go there, so... Something to keep in mind. I whoa. I could go on the chains, or I can just float over everything. I feel like I've made my decision. That chain's, like, way up there! Wow! Look at that. Now we're here. I don't know where here is. Alright, so... A flame of some kind. And you're there. Like, where do you lead? Do I want to just ride as bread that doesn't have any platforms attached? Like, I don't see the lines, so I don't like it. Like, that's my logic there. Like, maybe it's meant to be an easier trip back? I don't know. This door leads us to a completely different space-time continuum. Yeah, we're in, like, late-night space zone here. Alright, sounds pretty cool. There's a shy guy. Are we in the same place? These chains really stand out. Just burning red. Alright, well there's a pipe here. That's exciting. And here's a fire flower that in theory I can use on that block over there. Where do you bring pipe? Somewhere in the world. Oh. Okay... That's just strange. Okay, so maybe it is meant to be a way that. And then... There's gonna be something I need. Okay, I feel like I need to explore the world a little bit more. Like, what's in this pipe? It's a completely other area. There's spikes there. You can go down. Well, let's go down here and hope it's not, like, just a pole suddenly. Okay, that does want to bring me down, and is being kind of a butt about it. Oh. Alright, well, I'm just gonna step all over this bread, and there's nothing you can do about it. There we go. Truly, I have left my mark upon the world. Uh, there's a key. Well, a key. I don't know why I said the key. I don't know what's the... Ah, shoot. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. Like... I, I, I want to get that, possibly, but I don't know the level I am in. Like, I don't really know anything other than now the spike ball has stopped spawning. Yeah, I don't know why they felt it necessary to just outright remove the line guide other than making it, a, like, marginally harder. It's not margarine, margarine at all. 
right now you go down here and then Sierra was just find out that it's not optional the fact that you're riding this bread forever and here you need the P switch that I bet is inside that block that I had to bop that's like surround by ice I mean, a smart thing to do in that case is to go to that lovely house I've uncovered yesterday and get here fully equipped. How about that? I'm gonna get that for no reason. Alright, it's not the first time we have that, like, combination of things. So, now we get ourselves a piece switch that I can use somewhere. Like, I'm guessing that, oh uh, boy, the purpose of that bread is to make the trip back safer. I don't know why I did that. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't! Alright, let's try this bread. See what it does. Although, honestly, going under there and taking the pipe and the frozen wasteland is probably the safest run. Let's see what it, this does. Okay, yeah. And it might be going around all the potabos, honestly. Right, from here, I'm pretty sure I can just do the rest on myself, though. Yeah, by myself, not on myself. That kind of means different things. Alright, so I gotta survive this bread run. What's over here? I don't know. Like, there might be something here, too. There really might be. Like, I really don't know. Like, here there's stuff. There's like chains and stuff. I remember seeing a key. But... Yeah, like, I don't know how you'd get there. Another secret passage somewhere? Oh no, wait, why'd you drop? Um, let's hope it persisted all the way in the bottom. Like, I'm not sure how you dodge some of these if you don't have your full menu of movement. Like, when you're holding an object, you can't do everything you want. Oh boy, well, I'm still big, so assuming it didn't despawn, I'll be able to just jump on the spikes and grab it, it's fine. Like, it's not ideal. Cause then I just die some- ah, this is annoying. Huh, had an impression. Do I want to go in the door, or do I want to go in the roof, though? I made a decision! We'll see what happens. Just going across the universe on a rooftop. Don't really know what's gonna happen. Well, confirm that there's possibly two exits. I don't know what the blue door will do. I can e reset the state of the universe here easily enough by, like, going in the nighttime version. Uh, there might be something we want in the... Like, maybe the key is just, like, on the edge here, right? Alright. So... I need to explore. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go in there from here, but I will be able to go back in... ...the night time zone there and reset the world, reset the state of everything, and try again and see what's in that blue door. Just cause that... Ah, ...could lead to... ...something. I'm using very, very precise language here. I did it! Yay, got all the Dagadons. What does the return door do? Well, there you go. Like, that's exactly what I want. Assuming there's a way to get back up there. 
I just fly here? Not really. Uh, let's see here. Because you go here. No, yeah, that's doable enough. I'm starting to get a bit worried about the stage timer. Ooh. But I'm hoping that it's not like this huge thing that's gonna happen. Time to venture in that blue door. The hole I made stayed made. No, you don't even know that it's a hole you can make. Alright, blue door, you lead me to a one-up. Wow, that's exciting. But I'm also here. I don't know where here is. Why would I want to be here? Is it really just for a one-up? Because I'm just back here now. Nothing was gained nor earned. Okay, so the blue door itself is not important. Good to know. What does the orange pipe do? We know what the green pipe does, maybe. Leads us to another time and space in the world. Another P switch. I use that here somewhere? Like, it's not P-switches I need. Okay. Mm P-switch you need to use here somewhere, maybe? I'm gonna die of timeout before anything. Alright, well. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here you make it easier to get here. Alright. Alright, let's place it here. You get these that appear. Why? Why? What's the point of this? So that's really just a big thing, just for a one-up? Um... Whoops, well... Then there's a springboard, so maybe you can... Maybe you can bring a Yoshi and do a Yoshi jump and you go over somewhere? I don't know. Like, it just doesn't make any, any sense. But, all I know is that there's a key there. <sighs> Science! Oh! Well, alright. Okay. Science is okay if you end up just... ...not having to rely on it afterwards. But, I mean, that's just nonsense. It's just, yeah, no, all of these very normal-looking tiles, turns out, they're not normal tiles! Hilarious joke! Uh, keys are persistent, right? So, I can just... Kinda... Chug that up there. Until I need it later. Like, might as well get the secret exit out of the way. Since I'm figured out, use a P-switch at a, Well, no, it's not at an innocuous place, like... There were enough context hints to make me wonder about putting a science there. That's not like jumping in a hole or something. So I had a suspicion. So I feel that kind of gives the message that enough clues were there. I feel like I'm repeating myself. But no, yeah, okay. Like, my, my first instinct is like, this is kind of nonsense, but it's... You know, there's... There's some logic to it. Again, the fact that I decided to try a science, I feel, means that there are enough context clues. Unless this is some deeply repressed memories from a Let's Play I'm seen ten years ago. Like, it's not impossible. But, uh... That'd be some very precise memory. Alright, yeah, key's still there. 
So I guess that blue door is meant to just be like a red herring. More like a blue herring. That joke's not funny. Doesn't mean anything. What are you doing? Alright, I want some of you. Don't go in that door, it will lead you askew. Will lead you to a place you don't need to be. Then normal exit is just get down hell pit and then something's gonna happen eventually. Maybe that's the secret all along. Oh boy. Did it. I got swallowed by a giant keyhole pit. R A. Okay. So that's the degree switch palaces are gonna be hidden at, huh? I'm glad that the game lets you see the key, though, because otherwise, like, you don't really have a clue that this level would have a secret exit. Which, I mean, yeah, that's something Smoo did. Just because Smoo did it doesn't mean it's necessarily good. Sometimes I think they still do, too. It does explain the way back bread there, though. Alright, time to get hurt in dumb ways. Like, oh boy. Okay, I guess I can kind of chill out here. <laughs> this might actually be preferable. I don't know anything about you. Alright, so that's the trick. Find a safe place we can hang out at, and then most of the spike balls are gonna get the spawn here. I mean, maybe there's never spike balls there, and it just looks like there's gonna be, but like, why would you do that? Like, what do you gain from that? I'm not sure. This time I didn't let go of the speed switch when I got hurt. That's fun. Alright, we can go down this pit now. Well, there's the end of that ride, and there's the start of mine! Oh my gosh, it's Reznor! Never before have I have met Reznor! Uh, whoa! Uh, my controller did a weird thing there. <laughs> I accidentally, I think, affected side arrows in a weird way. Man, I don't want to die to Reznor. No one wants to die to Reznor. Look, I love me a Reznor, but you don't die to Reznor. Slightly altered ones, maybe, but that's just Reznor Reznor that lives in the basement of the pyramid. Like some kind of Lou Bega imitator. I thought there would be a path that led back to the house, but there isn't. Do you think this level's a real level? Or is it just a bonus? Like, I really don't know. Like, this is gonna release a bunch of enemies. Ah, okay, I see. You do that, so then you do that, and then you eat these monies. I did it! I figured out the puzzle of the Yellow Switch Palace. It was a powerful puzzle indeed. I just realized this game barely ever saves, and I only got like 11 lives, but I mean, my progress will be saved now as an afterthought almost. It's kind of shoved in the bottom third of this tags box. I mean, I'll take it. Gladly. All these boxes are gonna swish all over the world. Alright, before I end for today, because next like next time we're gonna do that fortress up there, let's check out what's going to be the secret object we're gonna need to unlock the power of the something of the star world. A shell. Specifically a yellow shell? I don't know if the specificity of the color is gonna matter. But we're gonna have a shell in the afterlife. We're gonna use it to do something. Kick it somewhere? I mean, that seems a bit obvious, but why not? 